Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and you probably just heard all my keyboards and stuff like that, but that's okay. Um, today, we are going to be doing a little bit of Lamag, which is uh, Let's Make a Game, L-M-A-G. Let's make a game. Um, but this is going to be a little bit different part of the series. It's going to be called How They Do That. So um, one of the things that you see inside Jailbreak and inside a lot of different games is this E to interact. That little pop-up open alpha box E to interact button. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that because whenever you walk up to it, you can just press E and it opens the box and then bam, there's a, there's our alpha axe. Now the alpha axe in this doesn't actually work, but that's because I haven't scripted it and that's beyond the scope of what I'm going to be showing you today. So hang tight and we are going to um, pause. I will take us over and show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. All right, first off, don't get too mad at me. I am playing the part of the prisoner, but the only reason I'm playing the part of the prisoner is so I can show you um, the little E interacts. Okay. Okay, these are right off the bat. Bam, you come over here, and it's E to explode the wall. So there's a there's a context right there. When the uh, proximity gets close enough, you can press E, and there's this big delay, and then the E explodes like this. Boom, and we can walk out. So that was a, that was a bit loud, but uh, that's the that's the context of what we're going to be doing today. And where did the wall actually explode? We have no idea. Oh, it's not, it's not there. So, anyhow, uh, I'm not actually going to be playing the part of the prisoner tonight because we are going to be showing you how to program. So, I've got my Roblox Studio just popped up here, and I think that's that's uneven walls, but that's not what I was attempting to do. Let's let's go check this out real quick. Uh, where do we spawn at? Uh, I think the spawn points at the yeah, that's at the top of the building. We don't want that. So, I'm going to set me a spawn point down here at the bottom. Where's the model spawn point? Right there. And we'll drop a little box right in here. Let's just drop a part. Okay, and we need to give this some context. So like, what are we going to be doing with this part? So uh, let's turn this into a wall, just real quick. Doink, doink, doink. That's, that's pretty good, all right? Um, now, I'm, I'm going to turn this into kind of a, a little model part. So let's rename this to um, solid wall, and then I'm going to create a, uh, let's do a new model, and that model is going to be called, um, prison wall, just for fun, and then we're going to take that solid wall, place it inside there, that way it becomes the main part, and we are going to set that as the main part of the model, so, down here where it says primary part, we're just going to set primary like that, and then uh, I'm going to duplicate this, uh, Shift D, I think, no, Control D. And this is going to be our duplicated wall. And for this, I'm going to um, explode out the, uh, the inside of it. So um, to do that, I need to add another little part. And we're going to put this down here kind of like that. Looks good, I think, maybe, maybe a little bit lower. And then we're just going to scale this up, blank, blank, blank. And there's there's tons of different ways that you could possibly do this. This is just happens to be the way that I'm choosing to do it right now. And the reason why is because I want it to kind of look uh, the way that it is, uh, look like it explodes and it comes back. So um, we are going to turn that into a negative. We're going to select the other wall, this solid wall, this negative part right here and we're going to union them together. That way we have a nice exploded part like that. Uh, and then to kind of make some bricky things, I'm going to put that in. This is going to be called the exploded wall or uh, explode, explode wall like that. Can you guys read that okay? I mean, it looks kind of small to me, but that's okay. We're gonna add a couple more little parts here. Uh, and this is just going to be for the explosion look. Um, let's take this down there like that. Uh, looks kind of good, kind of okay. And we don't need a bunch of these, but why not? And we're just going to call this um, brick. So uh, let's do duplicate, duplicate. Oh, come here. Duplicate. Duplicate, and then this one's going to be kind of uh, off, so why not? We're, we'll just scale that down 
so it looks about the same. So all these should be called brick. We're going to duplicate and move them up. And like that. Duplicate, move those up. Duplicate, move those up. Duplicate, move those up. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Oh, 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 and one more, why not? Looks good. Okay, so all these bricks kind of need to be grouped together. So let's go ahead and control G. We're gonna make a model out of those. We're gonna call these uh, bricks like that. We're gonna put it inside the prison wall. And this and the bricks. Okay, so this and this, if I move that back over just like that. Now they are uh, they are inside the same wall. So, um, oh gosh, that's that's going to be a bit hard, isn't it? Not really. So um, we can turn this into. Let's see. Hold on. Let's let's select all of these. These need to be not anchored and can collide. Perfect. Uh, and then the exploded wall itself. This needs to be anchored and the solid wall needs to be anchored. So we have an exploded wall, a solid wall, and a bunch of bricks, but um, we are going to, oh, 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 they do need to be anchored. Okay, so this one, we're going to turn the transparency all the way up to one. Uh, I know, I haven't even gotten to the actual cool stuff yet. I, I do apologize. Uh, select children, and these are going to be anchored and can collide is off and solid or transparencies are going to be one. So if I were to uh, if I were to move the solid wall out of the way, you wouldn't see anything else. But we know that it's all in the same place. So if I grab this entire prison wall like this, I, I can move the whole thing around. It's, it's one model, and no matter where we put it, it will do the exact same thing. So inside the prison wall, I'm going to create a new script. And we're just going to call this uh, explode script like that. We're going to leave it alone for right now. Just going to say hello world. The next thing that we want to do is inside. Can, can we do it inside the model? I don't know if we can do it inside the model. Proximity. We can. We can. Uh, so proximity prompt is the actual thing that it's going to say explode. So uh, we're just going to call this um what, what do we want to call this explode prompt like that okay so that should give us some context uh right now it's it doesn't say anything cool it just says uh down here in our options oh let me get my face out of the way oh we need music don't we wait up come here i do apologize I need some music in the background there we go beautiful that way it's not completely boring. <clears throat> and let me get my face out of the way, seriously. Like, I, I don't need to be right there. I can move over here, right? Fade, 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 there we go. That way you can see the properties and stuff that I'm messing with. So, it is a clickable prompt. That means you can click it with the mouse if you get close enough. It is enabled, so when we walk up to it, it's going to appear for us. Maximum activation distance is 10 studs. I'm gonna bring that down to five studs. We don't, don't want people being really far away. Um, the gamepad controller, it, it's to press X. You can change this to anything on a gamepad controller. Uh, it does take standard Xbox input. Uh, I think you can do PlayStation X input as well, but it doesn't really matter because it all maps out to the same thing on a, on a controller. Mm -hmm. So, uh, hang tight. Okay, I'm back. Um, hold duration. I'm gonna put this up to 10 seconds. Uh, these th this number is in seconds. So whenever I come up to it, I can't just hit E immediately and it, it just happens uh, The other thing is you can change the keyboard binds so you could make it uh, any one of the controls uh, You can do f3 f12 uh, Anything that doesn't conflict with something else that is a context um, so Like normally f1 is the help menu. You wouldn't want to use f1 unless you're overwriting it somehow inside here um, maximum activation distance is five studs. Uh, the name is called explode prompt. The object text will be called um, set explosives. I hope I spelled that right. Doesn't really matter to me. But the parent is the prison wall. Um, requires line of sight. 
Yes, yes, you you have to be able to see it. Uh, we don't want somebody hiding behind a wall and being able to activate it through the wall. You got to be at the wall, looking at the wall. There we go. Uh, style is default. We're going to leave this as default for right now. You can set it to custom, but if you do set it to custom, you have to know how to uh, change everything. So that's a little bit beyond the scope of what I'm showing you tonight. It's just default for now. Uh, and if you want to dig in deeper to it, you can always look up proximity prompt on the Roblox developers stuff. The UI offset, how far off from center or how low, how right, how left do you want this? It's in a UDIM, which is a two dimensional uh, XY coordinate. Um, XY being because there is no Z coordinates. It's only left and right, up and down on the screen. Uh, how far away or close up it is doesn't matter. It'll always be the same size unless you change it inside that custom, which I was talking about earlier, which we're not going to touch. Whew. Okay, so let's hit F5 and just see what it looks like at the moment. Um, and I think we should appear right there. Yep. So uh, if we get close to the wall, it says set explosives. And we do have to be like right up on it, at least five studs close. Uh, it also says E interact. I think you can change that to like brick wall or something, something else. But again, that's inside the customization menu or it's inside customization script. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our explode script and I'm going to zoom that way in so you can see better. And uh, the first thing I, I like doing is say this equals script dot parent. All right. That way, whatever I'm in, whatever the script's in, I can just refer to this being me as the object. Now, uh, we can also go into, like we could move this script into explode wall and that would work as well, but we're gonna be working with the explode wall and the solid wall and all the children of the bricks. So, and that should be called bricks with an S. So, um, we're going to do bricks. Uh, let's see. First off, let's do solid wall equals this. Nope, equals this dot uh, explode wall and explode. Oh, solid wall, solid wall, solid wall, uh, explode wall equals this dot explode wall and bricks, uh, 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 bricks equals, uh, this dot bricks and then colon get children. So it's going to be it's going to be a, a table of objects. <clears throat> oh, we have to set the original positions too, don't we? Ooh, okay. Well, that's that's going to suck because we have to set the original positions. Um, well, hmm. I guess we could always set original positions. Um, hold on, can we put a... No, that's fine, that's fine. Original, yeah. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just do a singular for right now. We're not gonna worry about resetting the script afterwards. Uh, this is just to see if it'll work. So um, I'm going to make a new function, function. We're gonna call it explode. Whoa, why are we getting all crazy here? Oh, I remember why. Hold on, hold on one second. I've got teams on. Okay, so whenever teams uh, team permissions are turned on, it's really hard for um, the scripting area to uh, keep up with what's called the auto completes. Um, so as as you are typing, if I if I type things like enum, right dot uh, usually there's, okay, maybe it doesn't do it in enum, enum dot, wow, enum dot, there we go, action type dot, see how these little uh, suggestions pop up? Um, whenever you're in team 
create, it's really hard for that to keep up. So I recommend if you're going to build something, build something on your own before go, do, going into do team create. And if you're working with a couple of other developers, team create, you're just going to have to deal with the, the weird slowness inside the scripting part. Um, so you might build it uh, on, on its own and then bring it into your team create. So that's something else that you can do. We're gonna call this explode. And uh, we want to hook up this to, uh, we're, right now we're just gonna say, uh, I've exploded, no, okay. Uh, next is going to be the proximity itself. So this dot proximity, what did we call it? Explode, explode prompt dot triggered connect and we're going to type in our function, explode. Um, now there is there is um, another way to do this, which is what's called an anonymous function. So if you do uh, this dot explode prompt dot triggered uh, and then connect, you can actually type in function like oh function like this, and then once you're you're finished, you you can do everything inside here like blah, 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 blah. But I don't like doing that. I always want to call a function or named a function. There's some instances where you do that for like server calls, uh, remote calls, stuff like that. But for this particular instance, we're doing a prompt that's already on the server. Does that make sense? So like the, the player, you don't have to have a local script of any kind. It's, it's on the script inside the server itself and it will be seen by everyone. So um this should be set up so if we walk up to it and press and hold e for 10 seconds it should give us a print down here at the bottom so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten call boom i've exploded so it's doing stuff right now so we have our our script all set up oh Explode script, we don't need the local script, don't need the grab script, and that's that, okay. So down here, in order for us to actually do anything, we're gonna say solidwall.transparency, ooh, I can't see it, uh, hold on, where's the prism wall? Uh, solidwall, transparency, I'm pulling this up so I can actually spell transparency equals 1.0, and we're gonna say, uh, Solid wall dot can collide equals false. Solid wall dot no, we want the um, explode wall dot transparency equals zero and explode wall dot can collide equals true. So what this should do right now is it just opens up the wall. It should make it look like <clears throat> like it uh, it explodes or just opens up. So Ugh, that 10 seconds is going to kill me. All right, let's hit stop. I'm going to change this down just for the sake of uh, speed. Let's go back over into the, uh, the explode prompt and we're going to change this to one second. So we're gonna to have to hold it for one second to explode the wall. There we go. And one Mississippi apple. Boom. Uh oh. We didn't get something. Workspace dot prison wall dot explode wall. Uh solid wall is not a valid member of the union operation. Okay. What did we, what did we spell wrong? Did we spell something wrong? Uh explode wall. Copy. Explode wall. Explode wall. Oh, dot solid wall. Hot silly goose. No, no, we don't want to say. It. Just play it. Play it. Play it. Play it. Play. We're at 19 minutes. Not bad. So press E and boom. There we go. Yay! We're out. Goody. Goodness. So that's how that works. So let's hit stop. Um, and let's go ahead and set a timer up here at the top. Uh, timer uh, equals, let's say, 10 seconds. 
And then I need to put a comment. Uh, wait for, uh, wait time before reset. So, um, let's see. If we set this to bricks, that's going to be the objects themselves. Okay. That's that's going to be weird because the... Okay. Explode. Let's see. Let's do for I comma E. No, for key O. For keys and objects in I pairs, bricks do. Okay, so this is going to be a, a quick little loop for us. And for each object dot transparency copy. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. We can just create new objects. Oh, that's gonna brilliant. So instead of us um Instead of us actually touching the bricks themselves, we're going to create new objects based upon those bricks. So, uh, let's say new brick equals O colon clone. New brick dot uh, parent. Parent equals workspace. Uh, new brick dot transparency equals 0, 0.0 new brick dot can collide equals true and I spelt that wrong copy paste new brick dot anchored anchor anchored anchored I need to figure out how to spell anchored a n c h o r e d equals false so it is not anchored so that should create each one of those those bricks so um we're we're gonna have to create a new model so uh let's do this new bricks model equals uh, model dot new no equals instance dot new model and we're gonna put that into the workspace new brick bricks model equals uh, dot name dot name equals uh, exploded bricks like that and then with this way we can put all of our bricks into a model delete the model once we're done and that will get rid of all the bricks so instead of us uh instead of us putting it into the workspace no oh, and i can i can do a local on this that's fine well locale it's a locale a local and we can also do the local on this one as well kind of saves some space because we're not going to be using it outside of this script so, what this will do, this will create all the bricks that we need, and it will place them into the new brick model accordingly, I think. It will turn their cam collide to true. It turns off the anchors, so and the transparency comes on. So, we should be able to see the new set of bricks, and if we look over in the workspace, we should see that new model appear. So, let's press E. Boom. There. Yay! Now they're they're it's it's kind of weird because it, it's all like jumbly, but it's an exploded wall. We have an exploded wall. Boom! Nice. That's what that's what I like to see. I like it when stuff comes together nicely. So we're gonna have to create an explosion that has force but no damage. So um, let's see. Let's hit stop. Um, let's create, just for fun, new part right here. 
And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this part and, and make it transparent and make it move down. And we're just going to get it out of the way. So this is, this is where I want the explosion to happen. Okay, so right down here. I want the explosion to be about in the center of the wall. Um, this we're going to call the explode point. We don't have to do anything with this. This is just simply where we want the explosion to happen. Uh, I usually use a part or a reference of some kind so I know where things are going to be set. So like whenever I set a camera position, I use a part, make it transparent and have it just uh, appear there. Uh, inside this little script, I'm just going to create another little script. Uh, and this script is going to be called hide me, hide me. And what this does is script dot parent dot transparency equals zero. Uh, script dot parent dot transparency can collide can collide equals zero script dot parent dot <coughs> um, transparency can collide anchored equals true which we could have done that all without the script uh, and then I should be able to go script destroy right so that'll be good if I hit play I mean it it shouldn't show up oh it showed up why did it not show up Okay, so hold on. Let's change its color to a bright pink. The way I can see it. Huh? It's still there. Why is it still there? What did I do? What did I do wrong? Dot transparency equals ah uh, one, not zero. And gone. There we go. Yay. So, uh, oh, oh, we are colliding with it, though. Do I, did I set it to can collide equals true? Yeah. Dot can collide equals false. There we go. Now we're not interacting with it at all. So, our explosion point is all set up, and now we need an explosion to happen. So, um, once all of our bricks are visible, I need to come down here. We're going to create a new instance of an explosion, and we're going to say explosion, explosion, explosion. Um, we're going to just call it boom. Boom equals instance dot new. Uh, and we're going to call it explosion. Boom dot blast pressure equals 10. Boom dot blast radius equals equals 10. Boom dot damage. Damage is damage a thing? I don't know if damage is a thing. Explosion type equals enumeration dot explosion type dot craters no craters all right let's cause let's cause some craters boom dot um what else can we do explosion type parent position changed hit okay i don't know if it's going to actually hurt us or not but we do need to explode uh, boom dot position equals script dot no, no 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 this which is our model dot explode point dot position just like that uh, and then boom dot parent equals workspace this way it will uh, appear inside the workspace now we need to wait for uh, our timer. Let's let's call this wait time. Wait time equals ten seconds. So then we're going to wait for wait time. Wait time like that. Now, um, once we've done all this, 
Uh, hold on. Let's test it first. Make sure that we're we're good. <laughs> All right. One, two. Boom. So it, it kind of exploded. It, it wasn't really a big pressure and we didn't take any damage for it so that's that's good let's uh let's take that explosion and we'll put it up to a hundred blast pressure is 10. uh how big is our wall like 20 units so let's do 20 units so we we went up to a hundred and we went to 10. Now, i don't know that there's any actual sound oh oh my goodness oh my goodness that is not moving out of the way. So, stop, explosion script, let's set this up to a thousand. Go up by a thousand. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully this will work a little bit better. Boom. It might be happening too quick. Like the bricks don't know how to get out of there beforehand. It's, it's, causing some cool little damage so uh let's go we can get rid of the hide me script uh let's go up to 100 on this and we're going to say 10,000 blast pressure all right wish us luck boom nope nope it's just oh oh do we just break all of those Oh my goodness. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Are we are we exploding the wrong spot? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's let's hold this. Boom. <laughs> okay. Very cool. <laughs> Not exactly what we were looking for. Oh goodness. Okay, uh, if we go to the bricks themselves, select the children, select all the children, and then we kind of scale these down just a little bit. Can we, can we scale these at all? Whoa, that's, that might be too much. Um, let's turn down the move. We'll scale these just a little bit on the inside like that. Cause it doesn't have to fill in but we do have to have enough room that they can shoot out or shatter. So let's try that. All right, press E and boom. It might be happening too quick because that, that should have been nice and explodey. So let's put in a weight right here, weight. 0 0.01 there we go try that see see if the explosion is just a little too fast all right huh it might be too close so um wait it, can we reactivate it can can we interact twice with it Let's see. Interact with wall. Boom. And can we walk away, come back? We cannot. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, okay. So. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and create this up here at the top so we're going to create a new boom blast is a thousand uh we're going to make the radius of only 20 like like before craters and set the position so down here at the bottom we're going to create a new boom new boom equals boom clone new boom new boom dot uh, parent equals workspace so let's try that see if that works this way oh no 
Criswell. Incomplete statement expected uh, assignment of a function. Wait, what? Boom, boom. <laughs> Local boom. <laughs> All right, hit stop, 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 and play. See if that'll work. All right, here we go. Nice big explosion. And we can just walk through the wall. That's that's better. It's not not quite what we were looking for. And that explosion killed us. Okay, so um, let's try. Let's try a little bit longer delay. Let's actually try like a one second delay. See if that changes things for us. No, it does not. So, um, let's go ahead and add some force to it. So yes, it looks kind of cool, it looks like an explosion, but for each one of these, um, these bricks, new brick dot force dot, um, velocity. Hmm. O dot velocity. What was the, What's the term velocity? Copy. There we go. And we need to look to see which direction we are actually facing here. So um, x negative. So we need to go that direction. This is x positive. That's x negative. That's z. That's uh, negative z. So if you look right up here at the top right hand side, you can see which way your axes are. So we need force in the negative axis on x. So uh, new brick dot velocity equals uh, vector three dot from axis forward times negative 10. I think that's how it works. Right, that was minus 10 times minus 10. Stop, 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 stop. Let's go back over to the explode. <clears throat> times negative 10. There we go. Try this, see if it works. I don't know that it's going to work. I think we need to like add force to it somehow. Whoa. Okay, unable to cast string to token. Okay, fine. Let's do negative three dot new. New. And we already know which one it is. It's uh, zero comma one comma zero. That is our, nope, that's up. So X, like that. I was trying to be smart with the code and I, I just don't remember how to get the forward, left, and up from the axis. So I'll do it the old school way. Boom, there we go. That was good. Okay, so let's go back into the explode. Um, we can do no delay on it now. So wait time. No, 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 not that wait time. Down here. We don't even need uh, a wait anymore because we're adding the velocity. So let's add negative 50 to it. We know which direction the X is, which is not idea because if you turn the wall, then it, it wouldn't, wouldn't work correctly. Interact. Explode. Nice. So now we have an explosion. Yay. Uh, see how the inner act is still active? I could press it again and boom, we're dead. So let's go ahead and turn that off. We want to turn off the interaction. So we're just going to say uh, this, oops, this dot explode prompt dot enabled equals false. Then we're going to wait our wait time, which would be 10 seconds. Then we need to do everything in reverse. So after it's been exploded, we want to wait 10 seconds, let the people get out, and then put the wall back like it, it, it reset itself. So um, if we go first off to this new brick model, we can destroy the entire model. New brick model destroy like that, it'll get rid of all the bricks and everything else. We can also say the explode wall dot transparency 
I cannot spell transparency, equals uh, 1.0 and solid wall dot transparency equals 0, 0.0 and we're just basically going to do the complete opposite of what we did up here at the top so um, let's see actually let's just do this we'll copy these put them down here paste and we want to do a 0 uh, 1 and true and false like that also do not forget to enable your uh, this dot prompt dot enabled equals true so we should be all completely done with how to create the e interact to explode walls and we can we can make this a little bit bigger why not so i'm over here i'm trying to escape and press e boom explodes why did I die that time? We didn't die last time. Okay, but after 10 seconds, hmm, we may have to just, uh, ah, there it is. Now we're enabled again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we have our invincible shield on. Okay, how to create an explosion with no damage. That's a, that's a key factor. Can we cause zero pressure? Can we, can we make it just an explosion with like zero pressure? Let's do that. Uh, zero and zero. And let's make it with no craters. We don't want it to be explosive. It, it's not actually going to explode us. So <clears throat> let's wait until our, our shield is gone. Boom. Okay, why is the shield? Okay, there we go. The shield was taking way too long. There we go. Now there's no explosion, but there's no sound either. So let's go ahead and create a sound as well. And we can we can do that. So um, right here, let's call it SND explode. Uh, explode explode equals uh, instance dot new and sound and we don't need a, a parent for it it can just exist inside the script inside the the netherverse but we got to go find a sound so i'm going to pause it as we go and find a good explosion sound now the way that i usually go and find sounds is i go and hit this library and then i go to audio and i just type in what it is that i'm looking for explode so uh explode I'm going to pause it because I don't know which ones are which. I don't want to get copywritten. Okay, it looks like I found a good one. This one right here, which is by Jason Jean something. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into it. I'm going to grab this number right here, copy. And then I need to set the ID of a sound. And in order to do this, I'm going to create a sound first. Sound. Like that. And inside that sound, I'm just going to paste in the ID. Uh, sound ID right here paste now what happens is after after I tab out of it Roblox goes ahead and sets the ID like this okay and this is how you should call the ID so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to delete the sound because we don't actually need it actually no we don't need it so SND explode dot sound ID equals and then I'm going to put in quotations quotations paste that exact ID so um, SND dot uh, play loop looping looping looped equals false we do not want it to explode SND explode dot uh, volume we want it at 1.0 I think it's 1.0 uh, actually we're not gonna mess with the volume volume should be automatically set to full um, S and D, uh, oh, we need to put it onto the part, don't we? So let's, let's go ahead and put it onto the solid wall. S and D explode dot parent equals solid wall. So we should be able to call it down here. 
So right here, we're just gonna say S and D explode colon play. Uh, oh, up here at the top, we need to make sure that plane is set to false. We don't want it to start playing right away. S and D explode dot plane equals false. So we're gonna play it once and we shouldn't have to stop it. So let's try, let's see if this works. Nice, nice, we have an exploding wall. So that's, that's it, that concludes this, uh, this tutorial on how to use E interact to make an explosion wall just like they do in jailbreak. Happy coding. I hope that you've had fun. I hope that you've learned something from here. And uh, yeah, keep up the great work. Uh, I'd love to see your comments. If there's anything else that you'd like to see, uh, jailbreak, lumber-wise, any other kind of games-wise, just let me know. Um, let's try one last thing before we do this because I think I have an idea. I'm just going to turn it 90 degrees, and you'll see what happens to those... Uh, the explosions hold on yeah doesn't work because the uh, the explosions going in the opposite direction so uh, should we fix that real quick now we've been going for 46 minutes uh, you will have to change the directions manually for right now but you know what let's do it let's do it we need to get the negative X axis of the wall itself so um, velocity uh, equals hold hold on hang tight okay that was a lot easier than I thought it would be uh, so we need it on the negative Z uh, the negative X axis so if we do it on each object and its negative look vector I could just say O dot C frame look vector which is, it will take whatever its current axis is and it changes, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. So this should work. It did not work. Hmm. Okay, stop. What if we do times 500, times negative 500? Okay, <laughs> well, well, that works with 500. <laughs> it's not exactly what we were looking for, though. Uh, what were we doing? Times 50. So let's times it by negative 100. Hopefully that'll give us a little bit more control. Nope. Didn't like 100. Let's try 150. Uh, actually, let's let's use that explode wall. So this dot explode wall. Hold on. This dot explode wall dot um, C frame dot look vector. So that way we have a nice solid reference points res reference point. Well, kind of worked. Kind of worked. We're still uh, still getting all over the place here. What if we uh, hit stop? We're going to rotate this by 90 degrees. Rotate. That way it's facing a different direction. My apologies. We're almost an hour into it. But I hope this uh, tutorial has been nice and thorough. So, I don't like that. I do not like that we can't get the uh, forward axes. Um, vector... Vector 3. What if we do negative look vector? Oh, wait. 
I'm an idiot. <laughs> we don't want the look vector. Dot uh, right vector. We want the right vector because Z is the look vector. So it's it's always going to face into the wall. So this should work. Oh my goodness, it did work. And that was crazy explosions. Okay, so uh, let's rotate this back that way. And in fact, we're just going to do this. Control duplicate, and we're going to we're going to make a couple of these, and rotate 90 degrees like that. And we should be able to turn this explosion down. So let's turn this down back down to 50. And we have a, a second prison wall here. We're going to need to do the same thing for that script as well, which you could always modulize and add into your own module script if you wanted to but just so, so you can see the cool different damages that we do here we go here's the first one explode boom nice and here's the second one boom nice nice and easy so thank you everyone for watching this episode of how it's made uh it's a no let's make a game <laughs> uh or how'd they make that How's it made? How, how's, I don't want to get a copyright strike for like taking uh, the Discovery Channel's how it's made, but it's definitely how'd they make that. And if you look, we can't interact, can't interact. So nicely done. Uh, like I said before, happy coding. I hope you've learned something uh, valuable and I hope that I haven't been too confusing for you. Love you guys very much. Have a great night and we'll talk to you. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Uh, have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com.